Hello and welcome to another Casio video on the WK7600 and the CTK7200. Identical instruments other than this. The WK has 76 keys and the CTK has 61 keys. Today we're doing only drum sounds. So what I've done is I've built myself a pattern from the pattern sequencer and we're going to run this pattern through all of the different drum kits we have and there's about uh, 20. So what I'm going to do is run through each one and and label them on the screen as which ones you're listening to. So let's get started. So we're going to start off with the standard set one. Here we go. And here's some of the kick. And it's dynamic. Two different ones there. And basically we have the same tones throughout the entire kit as far as these. don't change a whole lot. They do change a little bit from kit to kit. So I'm not going to go through those every time. I'm just going to run my the pattern sequencer I've built which is eight bars long and now let's go to set number two. This is standard set number two. different sounding snare with this this second set and let's go on to standard set number three And again, some of the biggest changes are in the kick and the snare, the most important. So on to the next drum kit, standard set four. Next one's going to be called Room Set.
And you should have heard the toms are quite a bit different there. And of course, like I said, the Always the kick and the snares are going to be very much different. I don't hear a vast difference in the rest of these instruments that much. They're basically just percussion added to the very basics, which is based down in this octave here. Snares, kicks, and toms. Now there may be something on here that I, that I don't know about. You need to go through every single key when you're in a drum kit to get to know them. So, the next drum kit is called the Hip Hop Set. one which is called the power set. one it's called the rock set this is rock drums strange sounding drum set there. Yeah. On to the next one. Yeah, and that's the electronic set. one and the next one is synth set one drum kit even has different tom um, that was since that one that one's quite a bit different even the bongos are completely different it's nice to see big differences between these sets the next set we're auditioning is synth set number two
synth set too. On to the next one, and that's called the trance set. one's a trance set. That one has kind of disappointing on the uh, on the toms that they sound acoustic but the, the the kick is completely different and the snares are completely different. So really they only really changed a few things on the trance set but now when you're designing a pattern on this Casio, you do not have to stay in just one choice. You can split. You can you can have drums on any, any channel you want, but you can start, you know, we have channels 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 to build up any drum pattern you want. So you can use drum, you can use a trance set on 10, and maybe you don't like those uh, those toms, you can back up to the synth set number two and put the toms in there. Or back up and put the synth set one toms in with the trance set. So you're not limited, you don't have to pick just one drum set. You can have, you can have a number of drum sets throughout your pattern, which really opens this up. This is a fantastic pattern sequencer, and no one really talks about it, and I'm not sure why. It's the best one on the market, as far as I know, with excellent drum sounds. So here we go on to the next one. This one's called the Dance Set. So the dance set, the bongos, are completely gone with these new sounds here. So the dance set's a pretty good, complete uh, new set. On to the next one, and this one's called the jazz set. And the next one we got is called the brush set. That was a brush set, and we got maybe those are just a little too bright for you. So you can set this up as the brush set, and then again, like I said before, we can back off to the jazz set to maybe put toms in. So that was the brush set. 
Now we're moving on to what's called the orchestra set. For the most part, these are all laid out the same where we got a kick on C, snare on D and E. But on the orchestra strat, even the bongos, the bongos in the right place. I think with the with the, the uh, toms they've traded the orchestra set in for for kettle drums. normally would be we got much higher register on these drums so casuals working working these drums very beautifully across this keyboard that was the orchestra set on to the next one which is called ethnic set one Next one, ethnic set number two. different from one. And that is the complete series of drums. Now I was using one pattern, eight bars long, that I created myself to give you a, a wide range of different kinds of hits with different kind of instruments. So, like I said before, this is a very good, very good pattern sequencer. Makes a very good instrument even if you use it for drums alone that's um, as far as the keyboard goes I've kept it mainly because of this pattern sequencer not only can I pattern sequence drums but I can also pattern sequence um, I can put arpeggios or not arpeggios but a, a sequence notes in here so you can build up a fairly complex 16 bar, almost an entire song long, where you have fills and everything else in there all in one drum pattern. Even though we have a number of drum patterns to do. Now as, as in the reviews you've seen in the past that I did on this, I was disappointed because we uh, this drum pattern I got now is assigned to what's called the normal. And uh, I don't have a fill in. So when I push fill in, it goes blank. And I don't have a variation. So it just stays blank. I've only, I only filled out one pattern for this. Now, the, the part that this pattern sequence is missing is that if you want to fill out all of these, you cannot copy the entire pattern, pattern I did here. All the drums, cymbals, and everything I put in there cannot be copied to variation and then changed. You can only copy one part at a time. So all I can do is copy the bass drum, then the snare, then the kick, then the other snare. I have to copy those each time and go through all these menu changes to copy it 
to the very from normal to variation. And that's the only copying you do. I cannot copy this this pattern I've got to the intro or the ending. Those have to be done from scratch each time. So that's what makes this thing very slow. But if all you're going to do is make up two completely different patterns, such as a normal and a variation, and they're completely different from each other, and, and making fill-ins are pretty easy because those are only one measure or two measure long. So if you did a 16 measure pattern in normal and a 16 measure pattern in variation, with, plus with all the sequencing and notes that you could do by using uh, by using other instruments. You can add those in to sequencing along with the drums too. So that gives you 32 bars between the normal and the variation. So it's still a good pattern sequencer. It's too bad that uh, that the copy function does not copy entire entire rhythms. I may find out a workaround on that. If anybody else knows, certainly write in and tell me. But that's the Casio video for today, auditioning drums. Thank you very much.